I hope this will never happen to you. But if it does, it's best to be prepared. What do you do if the relationship with the counterparty breaks down? This video, I'm going to talk you through my breakdown routine and how to handle a breakdown. If a breakdown happens, the first step is to declare the breakdown. At our last meeting, something went wrong and I feel our relationship has broken down or become seriously damaged. See how they respond. They might say, no, everything's fine. I'm, I'm fine with you. How do you feel about us? And you might not actually have the breakdown that you fear. But if you do have a breakdown, the next step is to state your outcome, what you want to happen. What I'd like to achieve is, and usually it's going to be something like, what I'd like to achieve is to rebuild the relationship so that we can again start to trust one another and pick up this negotiation with confidence and move forward and slowly rebuild that trust that we had. Third, invite them to state their outcome. What would you like us to achieve? What do you want? Now, I hope they're going to feel very much the same way as you, that they want to rebuild the relationship, that they want to get on with the negotiation. They might say, you know what? We really don't trust you and we don't want to have anything more to do with you. And you have to respect that. You cannot win back their respect and their trust by arguing with them. However, if they do want to rebuild the relationship, it's time to move to step four of the breakdown routine. This is where you share the facts, the understanding of what happened. You can start by saying, this is what I think happened at our last meeting. This is how I interpreted it. What you'll need to do in this dialogue is to separate facts from opinions and perceptions. Agree on the facts and share the different opinions, different perceptions that you have so that you can each understand the other's position. Because the way that you feel is a fact. It's a fact that you feel that way. And it's a fact that I feel this way. We both need to acknowledge that those may be based on perception that isn't reality, but the reality is the way we feel. Once you both have a common understanding of the situation, you each know how the other person feels. You have a shared assessment of what the facts, the, the, the reality of the situation is. It's time to share your commitment. Understanding all that, what I commit to do is, and usually that's going to be something around putting right the mistakes that you made, being able to move forward in a different way. Having made your commitment, step six is to invite them to make their commitment. What are you committed to now? When you've made your commitments, you need to work together to find out what's missing and how to fix it. Is it poor behaviours? Is it missing information? Is it a process that's not working? Again, each of you should be saying something like, what's missing for me is. For example, what's missing for me is I didn't feel like I had all the information and feedback that I needed to respond properly to what you suggested. Based on what's missing, step eight is to look for options to fix it. What can you do practically to fill in the gaps and to make things right and to start to rebuild a process that will lead to a growth in trust and a development of the relationship? You might be saying something like, here are some possible ways forward. What else do you suggest? And from that, Step nine is to work together to build a plan and make the plan as detailed as you both can and as you both feel comfortable with. Allocate responsibilities clearly and with timescales if appropriate. I will do this, you will do that, I'll get this done by a certain date, you'll get that done by another date. This is what I propose to do, this is what I need from you. Once you have a plan, reiterate your commitment. 
We've got a plan. I believe in the plan and I am committed to working for that plan and to being open and honest about how it's going so that we can work together and start to rebuild our relationship. If the process has worked, they will repeat something similar in their own way. This is not a magic fix, but it does work. I have used the breakdown routine for real in two situations. In the first one, I kind of evolved it to meet the situation. And then after it worked spectacularly well, I documented it and used it later in another situation. And I've since written it up in a couple of the books that I've written. It does work. But what if it doesn't? Well, it's outside of the scope of this simple video and indeed of this course to look at it in detail. But there are effectively three levels of escalation if a relationship has truly broken down, but you want to fix it. And the first is to get a third party to conciliate. So conciliation is the first step. And the second step is mediation, where the third party will help you both to come to an agreement. And the final step is arbitration, where you call upon a third party to arbitrate on basically who is right and who is wrong and what a fair result is. I hope you will not need to move to conciliation, mediation or arbitration. And I am confident that the best chance you've got is to follow my simple 10 step breakdown routine. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come. So please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.